Well, I am on my way back from Harlingen. Uh, I got up at a 5.30 F3 workout at Center Church, and 5.30 came and went, and I was the only one there, so I got started, and then a Mustang come running, you know, racing in the parking lot, and it was Armando Garcia. He's with the, the veterans group at the South Texas College, and uh, he decided to join me. He's ex-Navy, too. And so I was just delighted. And uh, yeah, he's like 45. Uh, I mean, he's in good enough shape. He does these ruck marches. These, these, uh, he doesn't run these 10Ks and, and longer races. He rucks them. He, he rucked a, uh, a half marathon or a full marathon in, in uh, the Catan Death March uh, in... Uh, Mexico and it took him like like 16 hours to do it and that's just incredible so he worked out with me and he got you know he was he uh, appreciated the workout and I was a little disappointed you know that I had a couple pastors you know didn't show up uh, Matthew Tagle slept in and, you know that's happened to me before I understand I'm I'm gracious, you know, I, my whole purpose is, is to get people to where I'm at, get the guys, you know, that, you know, help them extend their life, better quality of life, that's all this is about. So I went to the VA, I got to have my hose for my CPAP, I have to wear a CPAP, and uh, hopefully when they, they're going to be doing surgery on me, they're going to be... I have a 80% blockage in my right sinus, in my right nasal, and I got a deviated septum, and I got something else on the other side. The doctor told me that I'm not the worst case he's ever seen. I'm the second worst case he's ever seen. But that's supposed to happen. I'm going to get my surgery on the 16th. And then I shouldn't have to wear a CPAP again. Uh, and I'll never be able to fight again, but I'm 55. And those days are behind me. Uh, I got on the uh, the conference call, the mastermind conference call with uh, Bridget Krause and the John Maxwell team, talking about the Napoleon Hill book, Outwitting the Devil. And I started reading. I got I'm almost through the first chapter. Got I got the book yesterday, and I started reading it right away. And I'm like, oh wow, you know, it, and it. Gosh, Yep, this same message gets pinging. I was at Celebrate Recovery last night, and they're talking about, you know, what, why are we stuck? And I'm, I'm like, so I didn't know why I was stuck. I know I'm stuck. And then there's the like seven reasons why, and, and of the seven, uh, three of the reasons, uh, three of the seven reasons for why I'm stuck, one of them is because, you know, I'm trying to do everything myself. I'm not calling on. I'm not calling on the Lord. I'm not praying and uh, asking for help. I'm trying to do everything myself. And the other thing is, I, I don't have a, I don't have a, a strong power base. I don't have a, you know, a cohesive group like I did in the boxing gym or in the SEAL teams. You know, like-minded people. So th this call was good for me. It was really good. And uh, I'm hoping to get this, you know, with the pastors at the, you know, here in the valley. 